you may have seen them do something that they call the walnut shell and pea game. And it normally uses three walnut shells and a little sponge pea. Well, this is a slightly different version. This is my version. This is the I couldn't afford the walnuts <laughs> version of the walnut shell and pea trick. And instead of using walnut shells, it uses three matchbox drawers and a little white die. But the idea is basically the same. The die is placed under the box. The three boxes are mixed up. And basically, you have to follow where the white die goes. Well, a mix up in slow motion might look a bit like this. Just a simple exchange of two of the boxes. I've done it at this speed. It's pretty obvious where the white die is. It's over here. Yes, of course. However, if you were to start getting Campbell happy and you wanted to put some money on it, I'd place this under here. And as you placed your money down, I'd do it slightly differently. I'd move two boxes at the same time, trying to confuse you. Well, if you're watching it carefully, you should realise that it should be under the centre one. But the strange thing is, it isn't under the centre one, it's actually under this one. And you look at it and you think, I thought I was following that. I'll give it another go. I've lost some money. I don't care. I'm rich enough. So the, the dice goes back under the box again. You put down some more money. This time I would move them in a different sequence again, trying to confuse you. Well, if you're watching carefully, you should realise it should be over here. No, I'm afraid not. It's not over there. It's back over here again. Odd, isn't it? Oh. I'll let you into a little secret, actually. I don't normally do this, but uh, we're all friends here today. And, and that is that this is not a normal dice. It does things other dice can't do, and this is how the whole thing works. And so if I place it onto the back of that box and cover it with this one, and we do that, straight away it goes through the back of that box and underneath. Oh. In fact, if I take the dice and put it away completely, we can take this one stage further. I'm just going to stack the boxes one on top of the other, like this. All I have to do now is to remove the dice invisibly. You will have to trust me. <laughs> no chance of that, then. <laughs> Place it on the top of there. And, go, and it goes down through that box, through that box, and, oh, look, onto the back of that box. Now, some people say to me, uh, uh, sorry, I've worked this out now, you, you, you're using more than one dice. Would I do that? <laughs> well, actually, yes, I would if I could get away with it. Yes, the extra dice I'm using is that green one there, that green one there, <laughs> and that green one there. <laughs> and, of course, those three red ones there. <laughs> 